Hi, I'm Michelle Lightworker. After over 20 years in the holistic and spiritual development industry, I'm sniffing out who's promoting high vibes all over the globe. We want to show you where you can find high vibes anytime, anywhere, every day. It's Michelle Lightworker from High Vibe Hunter and I'm here with the wonderful Kim Kirkman from Lift Gallery at Mullane on the beautiful Sunshine Coast. And Kim is a magical sound therapist and harpist and he is going to share some of his incredible insight and wisdom on the power of sound therapy and the harp therapy and also play some beautiful tunes for us today as well. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. I've been a professional musician for about 25 years. I started as a viola player and then I was a singer. There was a, a group of singers in Brisbane called the Ten Tenors and I was their music director and I sang with them for quite a few years. Well, my mum bought a harp for my partner and it sat on our piano for a year and um, at the end of you know each year for university they have a bit of a break. So I thought, ah, oh, I'm sick of seeing it there. I'm just going to learn it. So I picked it up. I did my first gig within a week and then my partner bought me something called the International Harp Therapy Manual and I was turning each page bursting into tears because it was sort of something I think I had to do. Well, harp therapy is, I think it taps into a lot of different sort of areas. There's a collective uh, consciousness um, about the harp and in that it has this kind of uh, ability to speak to many people about angels, about past life, about afterlife, and about deep healing and, and, and solace. I play something called the Celtic Healing Cycle, which is a series of three um, Greek modes, this is all music geeky stuff, but um, based on a pitch that I intuit by listening to a person speaking, I hear the tone that they need to sort of be focused on and I put all the music around that tone and then I might also do harmonic overtone singing as well, also based on that. I will maybe make up a, you know, light language song in that moment for that person. It's exciting, you never know what's going to happen, it's very exciting. <laughs> I think music uh, is a metaphor for life in so many ways and often We'll, be, we'll feel we're out of time and out of step and we just need to just wait a little moment and things will align themselves and we'll be back in our space. Back in harmony. What people have said, they've said that it takes them to a deeper space and, and they, um, they get to relax fully and you know sometimes uh, in our lives we are holding a lot of things and when you get to fully deeply relax then you can let them go just for a second maybe and it can be just that moment of release which allows the light in and allows just ourselves just to take a, a different perspective. Also, um, that feeling that you get in that moment where you've just relaxed, hopefully you can memorize it and then you can bring it back later on when you get in a similar situation. A lot of people, um, I, I do recordings for people so that they, um, they take that away with them and they'll play it for themselves later on. And often that will then remind them of that space that they're in, bring them back to that lovely piece. The music also has metaphors in terms of um, I think our consciousness so I'm, you know depending on your belief system we may think that um, we're in this three-dimensional world but there's um, certain dimensions above that and they are represented in music by the octaves of music so you might be working in a, a field of music down at the bottom sort of thing and holding something there but I might just go up to a higher place in the, in the instrument and play something up there which can reflect upon the um, our higher selves and how that influences the, our three-dimensional self and bringing heaven to earth. Inside each note um, there's something called the fundamental and there's the overtones and you can really hear the fundamental, it's the clearest note you can sort of hear, it's everyone knows like a C is a C, but actually what differentiates the sound of a clarinet to a harp is that the overtones or the, the pitches that are, happen are, above that note that are, are present but sort of very kind of subtle um, they are more present in certain octaves than they are you know for, for a clarinet to a harp sort of thing so basically um, I try to bring out those kind of aspects as well when I'm playing so 
uh, and, and especially with harmonic overtone singing, you can definitely bring that out at a higher accenting of a higher octave or a higher overtone and how that then relates back to the fundamental and and the realization we are more than just I think three-dimensional beings there's more to us and there's more to our existence than what we see with our eyes and the subtleness of the subtle energies is kind of yeah it's cute really There is something about the way that it's plucked. See, with a harp, you pluck the strings in the middle, um, which gives a, a sort of really warmish kind of sound. Um, a lot of other instruments are, are worked at the end. So a guitar, you play at the end. A violin, you play at the end. The piano is struck at the end. But the harp is really kind of unusual. It's in the middle. Um, and I think that that warmth that comes through the, the fingertips and, 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 and that kind of the whole string vibrating like that creates sort of a special kind of overtone sound, which I think then feeds into that collective consciousness um, stuff I was talking about before. People get out of life and therapies what they put in. So if you're available and open, you're going to allow the music into you and it's going to, well, I like to say to my clients, imagine this as an energy that you're going to feed upon to bring about the fulfillment of your own intentions. So whatever you think that's going to work for you is going to be in a place that that will happen. And if people are sort of feeling, you know, oh my gosh, there's a man playing harp for me, I don't, you know, deserve this, or, you know, it's, oh, this is really kind of odd, oh, they're going to feel tense. But if they can just sit back and relax and allow the the, the sound to speak to them and if they breathe slowly and deeply I can put the music inside their breath and I can create a sacred space for them and around them and um, and that really sort of holds them in a, in a space where it's just them and the music and none of the other things that can get in the way and so I, I really think it's just our, our minds which sometimes get in the way and that's so normal for everyone to have that you know it's, it's that's just the way it is. But it's so lovely if we can allow it to just clearly move forward. For me, I, I work quite a lot. So I, I take seven choirs, I do private teaching, I teach at schools, so that I'm heavily involved in working all day, every day. What I like to try to do is to just allow myself and my speaking and my work with those students and with all the groups that I do just be very sort of spontaneous and inspirational. So I, I like to think that I'm not talking, I'm being talked through, that kind of thing. So I, I really try to stay open all the time. I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's my great pleasure. I seriously feel like your little angel and you've just flown in <laughs> and I get to spend some time to hang out with a wonderful, a beautiful, amazing being. Thank you. Thank you. I really feel that. Um, what you said about how you work, you're very busy, but your attitude towards how you work is so organic and so in flow with what, what you need to do, like intuitive. I, I love working like that. That's mm, how I like mm, to work yeah, as well. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? It's the opposite of burning yourself out. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I work from 7 o'clock in the morning till 11 o'clock at night, um, three or four days a week. And I find that by the end of the day, I'm still, so what's next? I'm ready to go. Yeah. 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 So it's I can, cool. Yeah, it's great. I can work with choirs all day long and, and my voice can sing for six hours straight and it's not really a problem. That's amazing. I love that. And I'm, I'm very excited that you're speaking to everybody about the power of really allowing those vibrational energies to help them relax so things fall away because often we do find that, that we've got the barriers, we're holding on to, yes, to things yeah. and those bar barriers, that, that we hold them in our body and mm. they sort of deflect the high vibrational frequencies, yes, don't that's they? Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone, of course, everyone's in their own particular space at all the time and you know we it's it's good to stay like open towards that as well but i like to think of it as um you know imagine holding your arm out for like about you know 15 minutes and then just to put it down oh man <laughs> then you can pick it back up again yeah you know if you want to yeah but you know just that idea of you can put you can put your weight down you can 
you know, relax and rest your burden just for a second. Yeah. Just to allow something to come in that may not have been there before. Yeah. And I like that. I like, I like giving ourselves an opportunity to stop as well. And sometimes when we're listening to music, um, it can just be in the background and be just as effective, but sometimes just letting go and stopping and seeing it as food because sometimes we, we just think it's entertainment, mm. don't we? Yeah. But I think it's food. Mm. I think music yeah. is actually yeah, food. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it nourishes us and speaks to our um, higher self. It speaks to our creativity, our inspiration. It can, insp- you know, it can help us think up new ideas. Einstein used to stop uh, his work, go and play the violin to, to solve a problem. Wow, I love yeah. that. Yeah. Do you know, this reminds me of something because um, cause I am like you, I'm very busy and sometimes part of my job, I'm, I'm doing a lot of concentration, you know, and so I'm very present, you know, so that when I'm concentrating, I'm concentrating. And everybody will just look at me and go, oh, you know, she's she's in there, you know, what yeah, she's doing, yeah. you know. Which I think is a good thing, but when you're in there for a while, you need to just not be in there. There's a lot of power in just being. There's a lot of power in, like for me, it will be, oh, I'll just go for a walk and, and just, um, you know, uh, have that intention at the beginning of the walk and then maybe the answers will drop in mm. when I'm not trying to think of it. Yeah. I'm just enjoying my walk and taking the scenery, yeah. taking a few photos maybe because I love, that's part of my beauty appreciation. Yes. So I love that, just allowing and letting things drop in. But you do need to create a space for that, I mm. believe, mm. you know. I'm lucky in a way that I get to drive a lot. I drive about a 1,000 kilometres a week, so um, that's a lot of just letting go time as well. And I can be quite creative in that space as well, thinking yes. about my... You know, whatever I've got to do, looking for solutions to problems, they sort of fall out in that space. Yeah, and the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very um, excited to hear you play. I can't wait, so um, do some playing. And um, when I was listening to you and you were sharing with me about that personal, like, creation for people in the sound therapy, I just felt like it was such an incredible gift for people to, to receive. That personal, mm. that personal, yeah, that you're yeah, tuning in personal. so personally yeah. and creating something magical for them. In that moment, just yeah. beautiful. Mm. Just that made me cry. I was mm. behind the camera. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. Oh, awesome. There's so much power in that, just receiving and sitting and receiving. Yum. Thank you so mm, much. Awesome. Loved it, loved it, loved it. <sighs> <laughs> that is great. All right, I think we're it's a wrap. Yeah, great. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>